Hello everyone, and welcome to once again trying to implement the Death Star in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have come up with a potential solution. Some people suggested adding the save file to replace a uh, normal craft with the Death Star. That might be an option as well, but I wanted to try one thing first, and that is to rescale the Death Star first, make it small, uh, so it is now 1 100th what it was before, and it doesn't look quite right, I'll have to think about the shading, but it doesn't look too bad at least. And once it's out in space, it'll look much better. Uh, you can see the detail on the trench, uh, lots of structure in there, though uh, the little structures haven't been uh, textured. And then we have little sort of hangar things here. Uh, no hangar doors yet, but I can add those in. But first I wanted to test the capability of bringing the Death Star in before I added a whole bunch of details. So. Anyway, let's put some launch clamps on and bring it outside. I'm <laughs> putting the launch clamps on now that I can uh, so that it doesn't like blow up and then we will see. Let's actually call it the Death Star. And so what I'm going to do is cheat it into orbit and then go into the configuration file, scale it back up again, and then we will see whether it's full scale. Um, okay. I guess that's not enough launch clamps. All right, that's fine, that's fine. That's not a problem. It is, after all, 22 million tons. So it would be hard to get enough launch clamps, to be honest. Now, where, well, I guess it doesn't matter where around or if we can change it later. Um, um, is, is set orbit not powerful enough to get this to where it needs to go? Okay, okay, okay. You had me wondering there. Now the Death Star currently does not have propulsion, so we'll have to change that. But it does have a reaction wheel, but it's very small. That should be enough to orient eventually. So, or maybe, hmm, I'll have to double check the reaction wheel. I thought I had it, but anyway, it's up here. So now the question is whether I can rescale it to the full thing. Let me check the reaction wheel thing too to make sure that we have one and it's powerful enough. Okay, so in theory I scaled it up, but will we really be able to tell just by jumping to it like this? Hmm, I, I really can't tell whether it's scaled up or not, or whether it's still got the smaller scale. So... The fact that the lighting is sort of glitching on it might be a tell, but there's no way for us to figure that out here. It tells us our mass, but it doesn't tell us our size. Uh, but what if uh, there might be something in MechJeb? Does it say vessel length anywhere? Nope, not so much. Okay, so we don't know that. So we're going to have to send something up to it. Instead of being in this orbit, let me get into an orbit that actually intersects the KSC potentially. But yeah, it might just be a 16 meter object. It's tough to say. The camera zoom just goes all the way through anyway, so... <laughs> There's no hope checking with that. Right now it doesn't have the detailed colliders necessary to actually use the trench and the hangars. I'll have to make much more detailed colliders for that. Right now it's just one spherical collider over the whole thing. So, now uh, let's say 28.6 uh, as if it was actually launched from the cape. And maybe a little bit higher up. Okay, now it's sort of a station orbit. It should have a reaction wheel. It didn't have one before because uh, Realism Overhaul got rid of it. I had added one, but Realism Overhaul automatically got rid of it even though I had put one in. But hopefully I've fixed that. No, I haven't. It still doesn't have a reaction wheel. Realism Overhaul is very persistent. I specifically put it in the Realism Overhaul configuration that had a reaction wheel. And still, it decides not to have a reaction wheel. Okay, fine, be that way. Anyway, let's launch something to it. 
Okay, I think I'll just cheat this uh, ridiculous thing into orbit. This is a magnetic fusion drive thing. This is my interstellar install, so I've got all these things. Okay, it's still pretty far ahead. So we're going to go retrograde. Can't see it right now, but it's 600 kilometers away. Distant object enhancement. Should be working. Should be working. Render target vessel. Render all unloaded vessels. Ignore debris. Okay. But I mean, but this is our targeted vessel. Guess it's not. I mean, it's in the dark anyway. It's probably beyond the horizon, maybe. I don't know if this. Uh, I don't know if this object enhancement would work anyway. Um, oh, we're getting millinewtons. Okay, RCS. Okay, we should be able to see it pretty well now. Point at target, please. There it is. It's still 11 kilometers away, so it's out of render range. Okay, so maybe we should scale it 100 times and get it its full size. I don't know how big we can make it and still have it visible. So it's definitely 1.6 kilometers in diameter right now. Well, let's get closer to it. Of course, right now I'm using infinite electricity, so I have to remember that. And I also don't have a whole lot of thrust. And also, the general inaccuracies of Kerbal physics mean that when I fizz warp, it like changes the location of the Death Star just a little bit. So, gotta be careful about that. Remember, that only ends when you're within 200 meters of an object. We're never going to be within 200 meters of the Death Star. It's wider than that. So, Fizz Warp is not an option close to the Death Star. I thought about actually making the collider of the Death Star larger than the Death Star, so that it's like it has shielding, but not in the trench. So... I'll make a custom collider and maybe make that collider sort of semi-translucent like a, like a shield. I was thinking of that. And so you'd actually crash into the shield instead of the Death Star itself uh, because you hadn't dropped the shields yet. But the trench will be open because it has to be able to launch its fighters and everything. Okay. Time warp isn't a great idea either. Uh, we'll get good enough here. Normally you see the laser on top, so it's weird having it on the bottom, but... I think I'll separate out the city textures more and create more textures for it. Right now there's two, one for the Northern Hemisphere and one for the Southern Hemisphere, but that limits how much quality we can add to those textures. So if I make like four on each, these are 2K textures, 2048 by 2048. We can add a lot more detail to that. I didn't want to necessarily add mesh to all that, but maybe I will. It turned out that the file size was not as bad as I thought it was. What exactly to do about the laser, I'm not sure. It sure looks like it should get more detail, but it's not like I can put red beams in. Oh, oh, okay, okay. When we enter render range, it changed the orientation of the Death Star. Ooh, that's dangerous. And because it doesn't have the reaction wheel operating, it's uh, slowly rotating as well. It's not a steady Death Star. It's 1.6 kilometers in diameter, so it's 800 in radius. We could potentially increase that. Even if we want to get it into render range. Of course, if I make it the full size, we can never actually get into render range of it. So, uh, it, it would be a fixture and you'd crash into it, I think. 
I know. I don't know if you would crash into it. I don't think so. I don't think you could physically interact with it. It just appeared because distant object enhancement was making a reference of it appear. Uh, so it'll be visible, but you can't interact with it. Which do you think would be better? I'll get uh, comments on that. Would it be better just to keep it capable of being interacted with or have it full size and you, you, it won't be interacted with? I don't know. I think we want it to be interactable. Well, right now we're we're a safe distance away ish. What I want to do maybe I should back up a little bit. I I don't think my RCS is powerful enough for this. What I want to do is uh scale it up by a factor of 2, so it'll be 50 times smaller than the real thing. Or that's comparing to Death Star 2. Death Star 1, it'd be 37.5 times smaller. Uh, but see if that works while wow, we're still in render range. Well, I found a Realism Overhaul's reaction wheel thing, and it's sort of complicated. I'm trying to figure out. It's got all these log solvers and. Um, has not reaction wheel configured. So I guess what we have to do is tag something as reaction wheel configured. But tagging things never seems to work right <laughs> for me. So it'll get rid of any reaction wheel that doesn't say reaction wheel configured. So this, this line here. I'll try and add that and see if that helps our Death Star keep its reaction wheel. It's not a powerful reaction wheel considering the size of the Death Star. Maybe I should even make it more powerful. And it just this is the scale that I've been changing, but if you were just using this in stock, it'd be just this scale. So scale it down first and then scale it up again later after you cheat into orbit is the technique. So, but in this case, I'm just going to scale this to 2. Okay, so what I'm worried about here is that having expanded the Death Star, we are so close that we are going to explode. Now, I could have expanded it to the point where it wouldn't be that close, but I want it to be as close as possible, and I want it a round number, so we'll see. Ooh, we're really close. We're really close. Okay, we're sort of skirting the surface of it now. But you can see this, this detailing is not sufficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split up the texture of the Death Star so that uh, we can get better quality on it. Uh, maybe I'll add some more mesh detail to this area as well. And of course, we in the trench, which is currently much more detailed, you can see, but we need to, or I need to, Texture those little surface things, add guns and such. But when you take a look at our craft size at this scale, that craft is pretty big compared to a X-wing. Uh, but we can definitely have some craft fly down this trench if they should want to. But I have to fix the colliders as well. So anyway, uh, the Death Star is here, and this is an install, incidentally that uh, not only has the solar system, this is the RSS Interstellar install, and one reason it's called that, aside from having KSB Interstellar, is it has the RSS exoplanets. So we do have different star systems there. And in theory, we can even uh, cheat the Death Star or whatever we want into those other star systems, right? Of course, there's a lot of stuff here. There we go, Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri. So yeah, uh, the possibilities, the possibilities, folks. So anyway, with that development, uh, <laughs> um, I wonder if you can see from the ground, because, you know, this object enhancement sets it to 750 kilometers. So if we're directly below it, and it's at 400 kilometers, we should be able to see it from the ground. But I'll leave that 
question for another time. So anyway, with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.